We're moving. <laughs> we are moving. We're moving. We are moving. <laughs> One more flight to go. We're closing up shop and we'll see you on the road. Morning number one. How'd you sleep? Freezing is so tired. It slept good though. I'm gonna sleep for days. We've been going to bed at one every night and getting up at 7 30. Not enough sleep. Tonight will be our good night sleep. We need to sleep in one night. We'll have some of our decor in here. Mm -hmm. Here, I got furniture. We yeah, what are we putting in here? Oh. Alarm. Time to get up. What are we putting in here? Um, I don't know. No, no idea. We gotta be here like basically all day to direct them. I know. Well, like, like we, we and I decide. Can we get coffee real quick? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This bedding was cozy. I know. We got the Casa Luna. Oh, I just, I just felt so good waking up here. I know. How do you feel about the paint now that you can see it? It's, it's better. It's definitely way better. It is pulling a little warmer than I thought. But it's okay. No. It is I think okay. the warm I think the warmth will be okay. I think, he, I think it's good too because I think if it was cool we wouldn't like it. And I think it's coming from the flooring because the floor is warm undertoned. But then think about like okay, think about um the flooring in the new master at the old house, how cool toned it was. Uh-huh. It was like so cool. It looks good in photos, but like I think Oh, time to get up. I think this looks better in real in real life. Yeah, I agree. It looks like I just like the quality. Of I feel it. like the sheen of the baseboards is actually way. Sh it almost changes the color of the trim versus the wall, like big time. Oh my god, I can tell. But that trim and the wall are the same color to the ceiling. It's just a different finish. This is eggshell. That is sheen. <laughs> we're going to go past about home stuff now. I know. Like we're so picky. Um, well, but we had to make a game time decision. Also, it looks white. Also, when we were um, moving out of our, I guess, old house, we'll call it. Mm -hmm. I I was really nitpicky at like making sure everything was like perfect for like the buyer, and so when I get here, I'm like still my mind is still like in a nitpicky state. I know. Until I get here, I'm like, wait, there's like some caulk that needs to be done right here. Or like, there's a little crack here we need to fill in. I know. And so I feel like I'm going to be doing that for a while. Yeah. I feel like you're really into that stuff. We need to find a remote to the fan. Yeah. Um, I love that we have... I love the smooth walls. Uh-huh. And I love the trim. Uh-huh. The, the trim, like it looks and feels oh, so much okay. like... More luxurious mm -hmm. than the other house. I like. I think our painters are about to be here to finish some items in the house, some touch-ups, and the movers are about to be here too. So we need we need to get rolling. Oh, wait, what time is it? Uh, it's like seven fifty. I literally like all I want to do today is I feel so lazy. Like this is literally the last thing I want to do. Well, <laughs> all right, time to roll. Put the, put the show on the road. Bolt Movers is just about to leave. They are so cute. We just took pictures and met the owner. Um, <laughs> what? Oh, I know, so cute. They're packing up right now, leaving, and they unloaded quick. I thought it was gonna take the whole day, and it only took like four hours. All right, y'all. What a hectic morning. Oh my gosh, literally, those movers, they move so fast. It's like you don't even have a second to like, like look away because Literally someone every second is just walking in the door and they're like, where do you want this, ma'am? Where do you want this? And like, it's, which is amazing. It's just like, I didn't have any time to vlog or pick up the camera or anything. So bolt movers already left. They unloaded the trucks in literally 
four hours, every single thing, furniture, boxes, all of it. I was like, I thought it was gonna take all day. So that was pretty crazy. The unload is really fast. So definitely the packing is the harder part. Um, so now we have got all of these boxes everywhere. So today is gonna be an unpacking day. I think I'm gonna start on the kitchen. Um, just because you know when the kitchen is all set up, it's like cozier um, And we will yeah, just try and get everything situated But boy do we have our work cut out for us cut out for us. It's like boxes literally everywhere. So let's see What we can find here. Um, it's just like holy crap. Where do I even begin? I don't know what to do, but yeah, here's a little sneak peek of the kitchen I'm obsessed with it. A lot of you guys are like, oh, it looks like your old house and I'm like yeah I mean obviously we have the same kind of taste so it's gonna be like I would say it's like the graduated like version of our other house but a lot different like if you were to walk in the houses they have like totally different feels and this one to me feels just a little bit more um like quality it, it's like definitely a different layout it's cozier the finishes are more our vibe it's more contemporary than the other one the other one felt really rustic and this one feels more modern contemporary um yeah just things are are different about it so it is a little bit more too i think like a little more not traditional but kind of and i think we tend to we saw some really modern houses and like i love a really fun modern you know look and I've been leaning a little bit more towards more traditional interiors not traditional but like you obviously want it just feels to me like a little bit more timeless um just things like you know uh normal windows like that that aren't like super steel modern black which I also I love I love modern steel black accents like in certain spaces but for the main structure of the house I'm really liking just a little bit more classic um style and then with updated finishes and you can make it feel modern with your light fixtures and stuff so we're really happy with the style um anyways I'm gonna get to unpacking Hunter's car is being delivered right now so he's out there getting that figured out and yeah so let me see if I can find my box cutter when you're moving. I feel like it's like where did I put this? Where did I put that? Um, and you just like Set things down and You can't find them Alexa, where is that? Like thing? sugar, smooth like cream Warm like the steam rising on my caffeine Cozy as a coop, had to get you in the loop Cooking in the kitchen, all I really wanna do is crack another egg on it. Yeah, me and you can make the best. Of okay, we're unpacking everything, and it is a shitstorm. So, all of the boxes and paper that we're just like emptying, it is all over the place, as you can see. So, I have to, I'm probably gonna have to break down these boxes in a couple days and well probably tonight or tomorrow and then somehow I'll recycle this paper I'm trying to figure out what to do with that and still got a lot more to unpack so things are slowly but surely kind of happening we're trying to focus on the kitchen first so we can actually feel at home and get things done we have the uh bar stools that we had before some of the same furniture we've had before that we're using temporarily these we'd still like obviously but yeah, we're setting things up right now just to get it out of the way. This is not how we're doing it and leaving it off. I think help? I have a vase issue, clearly. You have a vase issue. Yeah. I can tell you that. For sure. I'm, I'm inspired, like, being in this house, like, now to, like, seeing all of our old stuff, I'm kind of like, okay, like, been there, done that. I'm ready to, like, elevate to the next style. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Same. Some pieces of our furniture that like I feel like look so much better now that it's here totally. and there's other pieces of our furniture that Just doesn't go time here at all. Over, yeah, exactly. yeah, so it's time to make a big transition. Yeah, I mean I don't think that we'll ever really like deviate from our base base style which I think is kind of yeah I mean. But one of the reasons that we were so drawn to this house was the floors throughout the entire house. Yeah, I love them. I'm tired. I feel like I want like cold ice water. I know. I'm we do have an ice machine. I'm, oh yeah, that's the best. That part. was the best part. So we have this whole like little bar set up over here, and a wine fridge, and an ice machine, which we're stoked about. 
So, we're going to keep kind of chipping away and then maybe I'm going to grab dinner here in a little bit. Yeah. What time is it? It is uh, five? It's almost 5. Well, it's uh, 4.30, which it okay. seems later than that. It does, right? I think it's just because we've, we've been, been going since that. Like, dreading this organization process um so let's see here honestly don't even know where to set this up because this is about to be really hectic because we can do it over here this piece because this is a staple for the closet and so I think I need to get like I kind of want to get a nicer version of this but this will do for now it's pretty good actually it's really cute but and I don't wear it that often that can be fine anyway, but I think blazers looks really cute in this outfit just like some platform converse some hoops a sports bra sweatpants it's cute um okay so I guess we're keeping them all, aren't we? Great. That was very unproductive. All right, it's fine. They all have their purpose. Uh, yeah. Tommy Hilfiger. Uh huh. Cute or me. Well, will you wear it? I mean, if you're asking me, I think it's a no. Well, I think you want to be the cute. I think she said you're gonna wear it. I won't wear it. 
Never season, so it's our time and you can smell the good vibes rise and I keep my sunny side up So they can see me from above <laughs> I keep my sunny side up mm -hmm. No more running from the love No more, no more I keep my sunny side up whole day unpacking it is saturday and hunter and i like we've done we did the master closet yesterday day before we did the kitchen and like it takes way longer than you realize because you want to organize it and you're like purging and all this stuff so we still need to do like all of the living room um our offices are well actually still have to do the pantry pantry is still full of boxes um our offices are a wreck so we've got lots to do but we're looking at our front porch in the morning and seeing i don't know if it's gonna focus on there but just see what's happening in the world it's our first time we've had like a clear front door where you can okay. see how so you want to do like our goal would be maybe to get like yeah, some I'm, of the boxes I'm, the, I'm gonna get a dumpster to come like a, yeah. small, a smaller one this time. Okay. Just for like all of our recyclables. Well, I guess that actually probably would push us to like well, get, get do more because then we'll be like, oh, it's coming. And you could put it in that little side spot in the front, yeah. the front driveway. So Perfect. it's not in the way. Sure. Okay, cool. And that way we could, because we do have, we have so much trash. I know. And like, what sucks is I want to recycle like the cardboard and the paper, but like, how do you do that? Where do you Did take- Did you ask the guy? Uh, no, I probably should. Yeah, just say, hey, is there a place that we can drop a bunch of like, paper and boxes yeah. to recycle because we don't want to throw it all away but we're gonna get to it yeah we are so inspired to like start decorating this place but we want to like our, get it clean first before we can our brains it. are running a million miles per yeah. minute but we're like okay now like boxes first and then we will start decorating yeah. so yeah we'll see so we gotta clean up i want to be able to see this place without any trash in it you know? I know and then i feel like we can start to like take out decor we don't want anymore or move it to other spots, you know? I know. So I think we're gonna be like, we're gonna reuse a lot of our decor, but maybe instead of using it again in the living room, we might use it in the basement or use it in like a, a guest bedroom or, totally. you know, go. So we're gonna, step one. I mean, I got a pack. whole bunch of shelves in my office that I'm gonna have to. Yeah, good thing for all your books I know. that you can read, so it's perfect. I know. Okay. So we're gonna get to Unpacking. it. Unpacking. Let's go. Let Team. the games begin. What are we gonna say? Woo! Fresh start. Fresh start. Because once all these boxes are clean, we can have the fresh start. We'll have the fresh start. And okay. this is also a fresh start because we're in a new place. It's just, you know, all around fresh start. Okay. One, two, three, three, fresh, fresh start. start. Rock roll. She like rock and rolling. I don't like emotion. It's cupped and shot for calling. This shit got too open. Need a slide before I start to face it. Should it be low right now? Should it be low right now? My baby like rock and roll. She like rock and rolling. I don't like emotion. It's cupped and shot for calling. This shit got to open. We're getting hungry. So I'm gonna take a little break and order some food. It feels like we're not even making a dent. Although we are. They're not Uber eating something. That's right. Everything ever. Did you want? I can also pick something up. Yeah. You could do a smoothie. I know. I've spent a good chunk of the morning getting a dumpster delivered to our house, which is kind of nice having that. We had one before we moved, just like as we were going, like throwing trash away. Yeah. And it's nice to have one when you're unpacking. We need to recycle all of our boxes. Yeah, well, we'll do like all the recycling and then any trash that we have, we'll do that. Swift. What are we gonna do for dinner? Cause I don't want to like keep. I feel like also we keep eating these super really big meals. Or we can just order a um, like a smoothie, a smoothie or a juice. Yeah, there's a smoothie king. Yeah, that would juice be again. I don't know. I can't think of like. I think the quesadilla and the smoothie sound nice. Okay, let's do it. All right, we just had a little snack break. We had. Basically like quesadillas, but they're like flatbreads almost. Yeah. Like pizza quesadillas basically. Yeah, the cauliflower crust. Cauliflower crust. It was really healthy. And then I got, yeah, we both got those. They're uh, vegetarian. You got a yeah. green juice, I got a green smoothie, 
in like a cinnamon apple juice, but all delicious. Okay, and there's Goose's dog bones. I'm trying to figure out what we're gonna do with those. We'll probably keep them here for like when friends come over with their dogs, right? Or no? I don't think I don't think people usually bring their dogs when they come over. Like Carly? I mean, Carly will be like the only one, right? Or like we can have them when neighbors walk by with their dogs, so then I guess. <laughs> okay. Oh, I know what to do. Okay. I don't want to go outside because it's so cold. Right now, I'm about to go out with a jacket and start slicing boxes. You need gloves. No. Gloves. It's not that cold. It's pretty cold. I was trying to do some of those clothing racks in the attic, but it's so cold. There, my hands are getting too cold. <laughs> You're putting them together yeah. in the attic? Why? Because I need them. Why don't you bring them out and put them together? Because in... I didn't know all the pieces I needed and they were all like, you know. That room out there is a vibe. What? Like a little screened in porch. Such a little vibe. We gotta get that right. I know. Yeah. And our table out there fits perfectly. It does. This is like when we bought, when we were like looking at this house for the first time, we were like, this would be a perfect spot. Yeah. We're just like pulling stuff out of boxes and like throwing them on the shelves. That's not how they're gonna be, obviously. We're just like throwing stuff out. We're trying to get like really empty all the boxes and break them down, get them out of the way. All right, it's coming together, slowly but surely. Good morning, folks. Another day at the new place. Another. Oh, another busy day, actually. And we're gonna start it off really slow and just mellow out our coffee. We love our living room. <laughs> we love it. We we're like it. saying that it's weird how different houses. Like our last house, we really liked the living room, but we weren't like drawn in there as a place to sit like all the time yeah. and now like this living room like i want to come in here every every day we're planning on getting a new couch at some point and probably putting this couch in the basement which we haven't even showed you the basement yet but i do but like this couch i'm liking this couch more now. no that's what i was going to say was that we'll yeah. probably end up getting a new couch based on like how we're wanting to like really decorate this area yeah but it's crazy how this same exact couch that came from the old house feels completely different here because it's way cozier in this room. I know. Because it's a smaller room in the sense of like the dimensions, like what would be. Right. It is obviously shorter too, but not too much shorter. Like it's, what is that, 12 foot ceilings? These? Yeah. I would think. Um, Maybe 14. But it just feels, the, the couch feels cozy in here because, I, I don't know, the layout is just like better. Yeah, it's better. Um, it's better. So cozy with the windows behind it. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. I love those windows. Same. They're my favorite spot. I can't wait till there's leaves on the trees. I know. I might I might hire a guy to do the uh leaves. Leaves. Yeah. It's a lot. It's a lot of leaves. A lot of leaves. Lots of leaves back there. Yeah. Bought some bought some frothy monkey beans at the market the other night. That was the hugest neighborhood market. I yeah, feel like that was a cool movie. That was cool. We met some more of the neighbors and they said that um, the, the neighbors next door have four dogs. I was like, yes. I want to tell them maybe we could dog sit. For them. Every person we've met so far has a dog. Basically. Basically, it's a dog city. And they, yeah, everyone we've talked to just says this is like dog neighborhood. Anyway, what I've been trying to say is we're having a mellow morning because the it's like the calm before the storm. We're about to have a busy day again today. Yeah. But in order to not make it a catastrophe, we're writing down our plans today, as we always do. Okay, let's do it. This afternoon, I'll put this at the end of the day. I think it's important for us to go to the grocery store. Let's go to Whole Foods. Yeah. And Tanner store. And then Whole Foods to get our stuff. Yeah, Whole Foods last. Yeah, because it's mm -hmm. good. Okay, so that's errand tonight. Let's make that our nightly thing. I'm gonna work on my office today because there's, there's a lot of boxes in there. Yeah. There's a lot of boxes in your office. I think we can work on that front of the house. Really? I feel like that's like a little bit last. To me, house. though, that, that area is like when we first walk in the door, I think our both feel a sense of like calm and okay. we can walk in and not see any boxes. In I house. have got to put the laundry on that because I want to be able to start getting clothes through there and it's like really critical things like all the cleaning supplies and like. Okay. I can actually help you with that because I think it'd be smart if I start like our life here in the, in laundry, the laundry room with you okay. 
and help you organize so like yeah. I I feel like I'm in there like I'm yeah built in as well I feel like that laundry room is like I feel like I'll do more too like oversized for me like the it's like jumbo like everything's really big we'll, we'll, we'll figure it out I can't reach anything we'll oh I gotta get stepping okay. stools that's another so, thing oh. I need a couple of stools for every area closet pantry and laundry I need stools we got stepping stools one stepping stool in the closet yeah I want them to be more aesthetic I'm just tired of looking at boxes. So here's what I'm thinking. So I'm gonna shower. <laughs> okay. Shower. I'm gonna shower too. Okay. Um. Then I want to work on the. We'll work on the laundry room together and organize it and feel really good about that area. Yeah. Okay. The thing is too that's oh and I want to unload all the linens from the master into like a linen closet. Okay. Um, laundry room number one. And we need to decide which closet's going to be the linen closet. If it's going to be Here's the, thing, it's, it's the so one in the laundry room or the one upstairs. So, radon box research, security cameras, what else? Um, the things we need to do once we get here. We need to uh, get a, a leaf guy. Yeah, take care of that now. And front, I think we handle the lanterns and the front lighting. Outdoor lighting. Exterior. Lighting. All right, now back to packing. We're gonna shower, we're gonna do a laundry room. Yeah. We're gonna do front offices. We can do like the okay. upstairs guest bedrooms last. Closet. <laughs> what do you think? Yeah, yeah. But I wanna finish our bedroom too. That's a, I wanna get like the, the, the rest of those bins out of there. Yeah. I feel like if we can get that done, we'll feel really happy. Because now, yeah. then after that, it's like clean up. Yeah. Like, we got some front door things to go through, but like, it's really just like that and then clean up time. Yeah. Okay, and then number three, linens. Linen closet. Oh, would you mind also building up some of those clothing racks for me? Because um, mm -hmm. I need to hang my coats on there and stuff, and I don't want to like just fill one of the coat closet. Where should I store my extra clothes? Because I had like a lot in the guest bedroom. My goal is to not have to have extra space. I'm going to put a rack in that upstairs carpeted guest bedroom. Okay. I think we make but that. But then I, I'm thinking maybe keeping it down here because then I'm doing the package, like new stuff I have to shoot, like I need a rack for that. Just because it's on this floor and then I don't have to like, but maybe it would be good for me to have to go upstairs. I think we make that a showroom. Like what I I think that my vision of a YSL showroom up in that room would be awesome. Let's see how the flow works in this house. I'm wanting racks like hanging from the ceiling like <laughs> YSL. Yeah. Um. Okay. I think that's a good start. Okay. I think if we tackle these three things, good. lunch and then this. Okay. But we gotta give them. That that. I think we're gonna do like a three, three, thirty lunch. Yeah, I'm just holding. Alright, I'm gonna shower. Okay. Okay, first like decor thing we did in the house so far was we brought in the bench from outside. So y'all all know we have this gray table out here that we got from Bali. This gray table right here. Um, the bench that was on that side, I sanded it down about a year ago. And this is the color underneath the weathered gray. A little bit more warmer tone. I brought this one inside and stacked it with books and some decor. It's probably not like set in the final way yet, but a good start. So we'll probably like maneuver books around and change it. I feel like it's gonna be something that changes constantly. Definitely. But very like I love it. very vibey. I like it. Very vibey. And we'll probably work with whatever couch we have in here, which is dope. I know. I think so too. You know. Yeah, and we could always relocate the bench. Like if we, you know, get different couches and it doesn't work, you. Put it on the other side or put it somewhere else in the yeah, house. Yeah, but we are still like having it started on the shelves no. over there. We're just like throwing stuff up there for now. Mm -hmm. I mean, this place is still a disaster. Yes, so sir. we are trying to make a dent. I'm so hungry. we're about to start doing. I know I'm hungry too. Should we go? Well, do we need to be here for the, that? Thing, right? I can stay here and like keep working if you want to go get us some um, yeah. Greek food. Yeah, we could do that. It's up to you, or I can do it. We have a TV being delivered today, and that's why one of us has to be here. Um. We're getting the Samsung TV, like the frame TV, because 
the black was always an eyesore in a lot of our like interior pictures when we're taking a picture of the living room. It was always like the big black TV, and so we wanted something that was like more mellow, looked like a picture, and a few of our friends have the frame Samsung TV. Ashley and Austin got it like two and a half, three years ago, like, right, and they moved like, into yeah. their house. Yeah, right yeah. when it came out, and he was showing it to me, and I was like, okay, I'll like wait and hear like more reviews about it, and then Delaney Clayton got it, and they really like it, and so we're gonna get it. So we ordered it the day we got here, and it's being delivered today. I'm gonna mount it up on the wall above the fireplace. Either this afternoon or tomorrow. I'm really liking this house. We really are. Like walking in, it, just like seeing just this like living room it. with like the lights in the back, and it's just so freaking like there's, cozy. There's something about this house so that's special. really special, you guys. Like it's a, it's just a really good house. Yeah, like, and we, I think we told you all we've been meeting some of the neighbors, just like all really cool people. I know. And we, really I just feel like when we met the neighbors, it felt like we received confirmation that hey, we did buy in a good area, totally. bought a good location, the street is amazing, we love our street. Yeah. It's just, ah, oh, I'm just so happy to be I here. Know. so. Tempting to mount a TV together, Samsung TV. Okay, I need you to keep going down. Okay. And I'm gonna fish it out over here. Okay. And I might need... What? A hanger. F45 is gonna be a doozy. What's up? Forty-five is gonna be too easy. Today? I'm not looking forward to okay. it. Okay, this should be. Should do the trick. Okay, pull it back up. It's right there. Okay. Pull up a little more. More. Alright, stop. hours later we went to the gym now we are in this house extra credit if you know what the nickname of this ladder is all right Classic us, we are rearranging the living room. We're we had trying, some we're ideas. Couple things. I think we told y'all that we're not, we're most likely not gonna keep this top in here long term. So we love the couch, but we're gonna probably move it downstairs to, uh, the, we have a basement with like a, t a projector down there, so this would be good for like a movie room couch. We're gonna rearrange this with the chair from the office a couple of different ways to see which structure of a living room we like. Second we get close, I'ma push away. My homegirl says she think I got something wrong. Nah, I just value my space. I'm worried all the good ones will be gone. Yeah, and that's why I pray. What's the point of a long time? When you get love and you just don't try. Yeah. What's the point of a long night? When you alone for the sunrise. Yeah. What? 
And so we're looking at it this way because like we've always had the sexual side. Right. Well, why don't we leave it for a few days? And the color see. schemes of like yeah. each item isn't the set we're going for. I don't think we'd go for a wooden coffee table with this look set up. Yeah, we need a different. I almost think like around. It doesn't have to be long. But it can just be like. I think I like the long, long ones. Like, but I think like a like a different shape would be cool. Like glass. I don't know. Glass would look good. This chair might actually get sudden. I know, right? I just what I mean is when I say the color schemes, I mean I mostly mean like. In fact, we have like this color wood in here. Yeah. Right next to this, I don't think those. I think they clash a little bit. Yeah, it's like too flat and neutral. Like everything's like too. Needs a contrast. This isn't a bad setup. No. But what I will say, part of me almost wishes like there's something cozy about having like the two chairs closer to the fireplace. Yeah. It's not bad. I feel like you. Okay, yeah. This is pretty. I like it. Yeah, let's do it for a bit. Let's see what you think. It's a good little setup. Give you a better look. Decent option. So we'll test this out for a few days. We're just really trying different things so we know if we do go after some custom couches or custom chairs or custom coffee yeah, table or something like that. that we know the size based on the formation it's like we could do couch couch chair chair we could do couch couch like it is now chair chair here we could pull the couches out further this way and do like two chairs closer to the fireplace facing like the camera right now I think I um doing this. yeah i like it too so definitely smaller. We need, everything needs to be much smaller. I think. But this is cozy. This looks good. It is. This needs to just be a little bit shorter in length. Yeah. Both of them. And this needs to be probably chopped here. Yeah, she should be smaller. It looks good though. It does look good. Actually, like no, it I almost really makes like the it. it makes the living room look a little bit bigger. It does. No, I really like it. I like it. Decent option. So